was 64 of the best poker players in the world. The best players on the planet. Now it's either me or me. We'll play heads up one more time. We'll play heads up one more time. And when I win, I get three quarters of a million dollars. $750,000 in cash. Welcome back to the National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by WSOP.com. 64 players started this event and this elite field has been whittled down to two. Time now for the best of three final. In one corner, 13-time bracelet winner and 2005 NBC Heads Up champion, Phil Hellmuth. And in the other corner, one of Phil's old friends, three-time bracelet winner, Mike the Mouth, Mattiso. Come here, Mike. Ah! Wow. <laughs> well, that actually hurts. Easy, bro. Easy. We did say they were friends. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm all bruised up here. That was the game, and he said to bruise you first. Mike, before we get things started, from the beginning, you have said that this is your tournament. It is now time to prove it. What do you need to do in order to win? Uh, I need to... You know, I just play good. I believe in God. I believe it's my time. And uh, just go out and play like I know I can play and hope the cards run my way. Phil, we move over to you. It is clear that Heads Up has become a strength. How are you going to be able to pull this off today? I'll just have to sit back and, and see what Mike does. I mean, uh, he's just a great player, and he's... I mean, this guy's made w more World Series of Poker main event final tables than anybody... You know, the Mouth of he has a heart of gold. What does it mean for poker that you are playing Mike on this big stage? Wow. <laughs> you know, we were just talking about that, you know, for everybody to always keep saying, oh, you guys can't keep up with them young kids. It's a young kid's world. And hearing me and Phil are sitting head up for the title, I think it I think it's, means not only a lot to me and Phil and to the poker world, but... I mean, it means, it just means a lot to poke. I, I, I can't think of anything bigger stage to poker in the United States than me and Phil being here. It's it's exciting. It's kind of players that, that people know. So I think it's going to be an entertaining final. Speaking of personalities, it is the mouth versus the brat. All right, let's get the cards in the air. Hi, everybody. Matt Vaskersian along with Ali Najad. There were 64 players that started the field and many championship combinations. Suffice it to say, Ali, this is one of the most compelling. Indeed. Helmuth looking to make history as the first two-time champ and Mattisell looking to prove to everyone, including himself, that he can still do this. Remember what Clubber Lang said to Rocky? He said, pain. <laughs> Get ready for some pain, Philly boy. Pain is coming. Could be the loudest final, too. <laughs> Pain is coming. Somebody's way. <laughs> you know what? You take the first one. Phil takes the first pot. Ah, so Doc Sands raised every button, and you guys still played three and a half hours. That's hard Can you to believe. believe that? That's almost impossible. That's though. what I was thinking. It was, like, impossible. I just want to win the first match. Do you tell yourself that? You know, you have to win three, but do you tell, do you tell yourself, God? No, you have to win two, right? You have to That's win two, but you, don't, you want to win that first one. It's like a set in, in tennis. You don't want to be one set behind, right? It's like a set in tennis. This is like the Very season far. finale of In Treatment. 25 <laughs> Queen Deuce for Phil. He's put in a raise. Mike calls with Queen-10. Clearly the better of the two spots heading to the flop. And our first flop, ace-4-5. Wheel draw for Helmuth. Check, check to a four of clubs on the turn. Pair on the board. 20, Mike is checked. Phil bets 20,000. And Mike folds his hand. Helmuth choosing not to stab at the flop, content to fire the turn and take it down. Well, the biggest matchup of the event deserves the biggest starting stacks. 800,000 for each player, and for each match, the stacks reset. Blinds at five and 10,000, giving each player 80 big blinds. Helmuth and Mattisau, both very prolific, no-limit hold'em players, which explains their success here. 
The small chips are gone. 1K, 5K, and 25K in play. Two friends battling for one title in a best of three championship match. Despite being familiar foes, Phil has made adjustments to his game that Mike has yet to see. Mike, on the other hand, has so many sides to him. Phil's going to need to sit back and figure out which one has shown up today. When I lost that flip, I was just like, really? You know, I was just like, really? Nice. Eight seven for Mike. He puts in a raise to twenty thousand. Suited king queen for Phil, and he calls. Check. Check. Flop is six. Trey deuce. Couple of hearts. Helmy's check dark here. So Mike bets twenty thousand, and Phil makes the call. Now look at that. That's just king queen high on a board that Helmuth is not connected with whatsoever, including on the turn where we see both players check. Check. Nine of hearts, still checks. Mattiso bets out. Do I let you bluff me, Mike? I guess so. And Phil folds. Indeed, Mattiso did bluff him. Ah, you know I don't bluff, buddy. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. I almost called you with King High again. I didn't do too well calling with King Phil, High. Phil, let me let you in on something. If you're going to call me with King High tonight, you're not going to be around very long. <laughs> Try not to make a habit out of that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you had King Jack and had a Jack. I mean, it might have been good that time, but don't make a habit out of it. Farmer Mike planting the seeds. 8-6 for Phil. He puts in a raise 20, to 20,000. I mean, let, let me look at my cards, man. You're such a, such a speedball to get to that 20. Hold it. Hold it. With King Queen, Mike calls. Flop comes out 10 9 8, a pair and a gut shot straight draw for Phil. Two overs and a gut shot straight draw for Mike. It was a pretty good flop for my last hand. King Mike King called the 20,000 that Phil bet after Mike had checked. And on the turn, Phil makes a straight with the seven of spades. But he's not going to bet it after it gets checked to him because he's got the bad end. River pairs tens on the board. And after a second check from Mike with four to a straight on board. 38,000. Helmets can feel comfortable. So I let you bluff me this hand, Phil? Mattiso doesn't have a jack. All right, I will. You know I don't bluff. I had the same hand that you just folded. Oh, really? Identical. Except not diamonds, probably. Phil takes down the pot in what started as a pretty even match. Both competitors had to fight through the toughest field ever assembled in this event. Five consecutive wins led them to this point. A spot in the championship, a title on the line, and $750,000 in first prize money. Oh, and don't forget about a lifetime of bragging rights. Phil Helmuth has talked throughout this tournament about how his heads-up game has changed. Whatever he's done, it's worked. Live reads, math-based decisions, the cards are falling in the right places. But this might be his biggest test against Mike Mattiso, someone who knows him and his game so well. I tried to track Phil down before this match to get a little bit of information, and he pulled a full-on disappearing act. In the zone, prepping for the match, couldn't get any information. Mike Mattiso, on the other hand, totally jovial, hanging out backstage and very focused. What he tells me is he doesn't want to let Helmuth play small ball, and he won't be the first person in this tournament to do it. So far, it hasn't been successful. The difference is Madison wants to execute that by putting in big three bets pre-flop and not allowing this first match to get into the deep stages. You mentioned the format, this championship format, best of three, meaning no big hand or bad beat can decide the outcome. Given the longer duration, though, who do you give the edge to? Okay, in the long duration, I'm taking Phil Helmuth. However, if Madison can successfully execute and keep these matches short, look for him to be your champion. To this That's point, I haven't time, seen Mattiso execute that game eliminated. plan, but it is still the early stages. Whee! And he seems to be enjoying them. King Deuce for Mike. Red. 
They'll put in a raise to 25,000. Helmuth mucks his nine deuce and walks into the stands. What is he up to? Well, give me a hug, hon. Look at all my beautiful money sitting over there. Nine deuce is an excuse to, to hug the wife. No more of this. Say hi, Mike's beautiful money. I think some of it's yours. Well, $300,000 will go to the runner-up. A cool 750 k to your champion. Phil was suited jack five, raises to 25000 here. Pocket tens for Mike. Where is it? He will re-raise to 75000 This is the first pre-flop three-bet we've seen this match. And Phil folds. Not everybody would muck in that spot. It's the tight Phil. Well, as we mentioned, the road to the championship was hardly gift wrapped for Mattiso or Helmuth. A couple of mics kicked it off in round one. Yeah, that was the test your friendship round. Round two was the web's finest. Phil had a particularly tough match with Doc Sands in the round of 16. And in Mattiso's semifinal against Scott Siever, a few coin flips landed right side up and put him in the final. Adversity forges character. I'm going to go buy you a nice pair of sunglasses with those money. I'm going to win. I think that's a no, Matt. I think you can afford some sunglasses whether you finish first or second. Much money as I owe? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Jack ate of clubs for Phil. Uh, I have to min raise. 20,000. Phil raises to 20,000. I don't even want to min raise. King Queen for Mike. He makes the call and the flop. Ace, nine, 10. Straight draws for both. Phil's open ended. Mattiso checks. 15, Phil bets 15,000. Less than half the pot as a continuation bet. Makes it easy for Mike to make the call. Turn to five of diamonds. Mattiso checks. Check. Phil checks. And the river. Seven of hearts, and Phil makes it straight. Mike still with just king high. The nut no pair. But look at that board texture. Oh, let's you bluff me again. A lot of hands that'll have king queen beat. Makes it easy for Mike to fold to that bet of 35,000. You wonder whether or not if Phil missed his straight, if he fires the end there. That's what I'm curious to see. Does he have the bluff gear engaged? Mike has the mime gear engaged, apparently. Ace deuce for Mike. Jack seven for Phil. Small downgrade from the previous pot. Flop is seven, deuce, queen. Check. Both players make a pair. 10, After Helmuth check, Mike bets 10,000. Phil puts in a raise, and Mike calls. Oh, wow, I thought you were stone cold bluffing. Yeah, Phil's raise is due to the board texture. Check. And now Mike has made trip deuces on the turn. Helmuth wisely checking because Mike called the flop check raise. But he's not going to go Check. anywhere with the Jack 7. Can't just auto muck. And the 7 of clubs on the river means both players make a full house filled with a bigger boat. Helmy's check dark, and Mattisau's checking behind. That's incredible. That is knowing your opponent. I play so good. Only I could check that behind. And that is humility. Nice call, Phil. What do you think I had? <laughs> I thought you were weak on the flop. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know you hit a two-outer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're just an idiot. And got lucky again. Then you check it on the river, and I check the full house right behind you because I'm smart and you're dumb. I was upset that I checked. Well, yeah, I don't blame you. I'm smart, you're dumb. There's a reason for that. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> Phil raises to 20,000 with A6, and Mike folds his hand. I'm smart, you're dumb, and you're scared, and I'm not. You know why? Because you have to wear them stupid sunglasses, or you take them off, because you're scared. Welcome to fifth grade orientation. A good check on the river has the mouth chirping. One supposes it was only a matter of time. Back to Caesars Palace, Las Vegas in a moment. Recess. The 2013 National Heads Up Poker Championship presented by WorldSeriesOfPoker.com is brought to you by Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. A routinely spectacular experience. Thank <laughs> you.
The 2013 National Heads Up Poker Championship is brought to you by WSOP.com. Well, this Helmuth Mattisau final has created a lot of buzz in the poker community. Olivier Bousquet weighed in with a little sarcasm, and Justin Bonimo, who was eliminated in the round of 32, lamented the lack of youth in the final. Average age for the field was about 35. All right, fine. If you're not going to have fun, I'll just concentrate. I won't have fun. <laughs> you want to play that game? fun, Mike. You want to play that game? We'll play that game. Lines up to eight and 16,000 here. I'm going to raise it to 32,000. Jack nine for Mike. He puts in a raise to 32,000. King eight suited for Phil. He makes the call. And the flop. Check. Eight deuce ace. Middle pair for Helmuth. Phil has checked. 27,000. Mattisau firing the continuation bet. Helmuth going nowhere with middle pair, but notice how he's not check raising this board. Check. Situation's a little bit different with the ace out there and a couple of diamonds. And a pair of nines now for Mike. 76. He bets 76,000. What a great card for Mattisau. He's now made the best hand after having air on the flop. Oh. Phil calls. Maybe I'll hit it. Maybe. Phil obviously didn't give Mike credit for anything on the flop. Chuck. Rivers, a queen right. of hearts. Phil checks. Mike checks. Yes. And Mike Mattiso takes down the pot. Ah, he's upstanding. He lost the pot. The world's coming to an end. Hold it. Phil lost the pot. It's okay, Phil. It's going to bluff okay. off. Okay. It's okay, hand. Philly boy. It's okay. It's all right. Even the great ones lose the pot. That's what Even the great here. ones lose a pot once in a while, Phil. Even the great ones lose one. I know, because I've lost pots myself. <laughs> Ever humble. What the hell? He's going to bluff every flop. It's so sick. That reminds me of Europe. I don't know. I haven't been to Europe in a long time. Helmuth referencing his 2012 36. WSOP Europe main event victory against a Russian opponent who perpetually bet flops with air and would get there on the turn of the river somehow. 86. Raise to 86. Though. Mike puts in a re-raise, and Phil folds the ace five. I had one of those. Mike re-raises, Phil shows an ace and folds. That is something you don't see every day in heads-up poker. I think I had you. Pretty close to all square. Okay. That's how I play poker. They win 15 pots, I win two, and it's even. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll be bluffing it off in a minute again. Whee! Uh, Mike's having fun and Phil's all business, but if heads up history is any indication, Phil will be having fun if he can take down a second title. Picking my favorite moment from the tournament is easy. I mean, I won it. Phil Helmut wins the National Heads Up Poker Championship. I remember buying the crowd, you know, 20 bottles of Dom Perignon and pouring it with Chris Ferguson. I think I've been blessed in order to have this kind of second run and winning a second NBC Heads Up Championship eight years after the first one uh, would be sweet. It's a recession now. I'm not sure the Dom's gonna flow in the same way, but I have it. let's get our champagne <laughs> flutes ready anyhow. All right, the sunglasses are off. Yeah, me. see now, we can have a conversation. How's it going, Phil? How's open face been treating you? <laughs> You're trying to tilt me? <laughs> I heard that been, heard that been good. That was, that was a good one, though. Huh? Yeah, it was a good one. I like that. I didn't play. I don't I didn't you don't spike your little nine there. You're down to six. You're down to 500, I think. I wouldn't have bet the turn. Maybe, maybe not. Mattiso referencing open face Chinese poker. Some guys don't fold 10 eye on the butt. It's tough to do. Something a lot of the poker players in our field have been enjoying during their downtime. Some more than others. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the f fantasy. It makes a gambling game. Yeah, I've lost a lot of fantasy land, in particular. I mean, you just, there's just a lot of gamble to it. Pocket sixes for Mike here. Raise. He'll put in a raise to 32,000. And queens for Phil. 32,000. Raise. raise. 60. 60 more. Phil raises to 92. First pre-flop three bet that we've seen out of him so far. Oh. Mike makes the Mike call. Makes the the call. That's a big pot before the flop. 
184,000 in the middle. Mattiso in trouble. And a oh. big flop for Mike, a set of sixes. Make that Helmuth is in trouble, especially because he's got an overpair to the board. Makes it that much more difficult to get away from his hand. He's up against a set. This is disaster for two queens. Helmuth bets 90,000. Tricky board for a set with the straight and flush draws out there, but Madiso is going to take his chances and try to build this pot. Turns oh, how do you like his chances now? <laughs> He's got it locked up. Phil Helmuth is drawing dead with two queens. 364 in the middle. Phil bets 250,000. That is a monster bet. Mike is doing backflips on the inside. Phil has no idea Mike makes the call. how awful a situation he's in, but he knows Mattiso doesn't have a club draw if he's going to make this call on the turn. Here's the river. King River's a king of clubs. Call. Helmuth puts Mike, Mike all in. Mike makes the quick call and Quack. takes down a ginormous pot. Oh, boom! Played him like a fiddle that he is! All but a hundred grand of the 1.6 million in play in that pot. Huge double up for Mike Madison. Not sure what Helmuth was thinking with that all in on the river. Nothing you can do. But Mike is furnishing plenty of insult to go with the injury. What'd you say, Mike? I said I don't think there's anything you can do. Nothing I could do. You could have got out of it on the river. I thought maybe. you said uh, I thought you said you played me like a fiddle. You could have got out of it on the river. King and club come, I mean. I just knew when we called quarter of a million when I have that sum. The first huge pot of the championship ends up in Mike Mattiso's stack. Sweet music for the mouthy fiddler. Welcome back to Caesars Palace Las Vegas for the National Heads Up Poker Championship Finals. Mike Mattiso and Phil Helmuth, the two competitors left from a starting field of 64. The mouth on the verge of taking the first match in this best of three. Real classy, Mike. Screaming about playing me like a fiddle when I have two queens. I did get you to put it all in. I think it's playing you like a fiddle. Of course I was putting it all in. What do you want me to do? I think you could fold. I think you could fold the river. I'm going to fold? Yeah. What do you think I got it? Just jack? Yeah, I mean, what, what quarter million kind of is man? Well, you didn't call I was just two begging. Flush, I was begging no club on the river. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're maybe right. I, yeah, I'm never putting that on a club draw. Mullen. Ace eight, eight. Mike tries to put Phil all in and finish this right now. You don't think you don't think in, in an hour you're gonna, Phil you're gonna have kings and you have like the, the nines, you're not gonna just give it all to me? Well, maybe. You can't fold sixes. How are you going to fold nines? I called because I had sixes the other day and I flopped a seven of them. I know. There's always a reason. Hey, I'm just destined to win. That's my reason. <laughs> you can't overcome destiny, Mr. Helmuth. Where'd the draw come from? I played with a lot of guys that said they were destined to win. A Listen, you've had a lot of, lot of firsts this year. Well, second doesn't hurt once in a while, especially when it's to your good buddy, Mike. Well, if you keep flopping sets to my overpairs, it won't last long. Well, if Mike Mattiso is on the verge of turning his poker career around, he's done so with a very good friend in his corner. Yeah, it meant a lot for Mike and Mizrachi to be there. People don't realize we're really best friends. He's the only guy in the field that I'm really good friends with. When we drew each other in the first round, it was like so depressing. It's like, oh great, we draw each other in the first round. One of us is gonna have to be out. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. And I kind of coolered him right away. It's so sick. And Mike Mattis out. Moving on. He supports me. I support him. Uh, we support each other. I said, well, I'll just have to take it a long ways. And he said, you better. You know, here we are. I can remember a time where Mike Mattiso would have described Phil Helmuth as that person. And not to say that they aren't still friends, but the relationship seems to have evolved. At this very moment in time, I'm not sure I'd use the word friends. Yeah, there's $450,000 
in prize money difference between first and second. These guys are in each other's crosshairs, no doubt. Call. No call. Suited King Queen for Philly calls. I'm all in. And Mike tries to put them all in. Call. Phil calls. 10 8 of clubs for Mike Mattisau. King Queen of Diamonds for Phil Elman. I'm a little surprised that Mattisau would choose to move all match. in after Helmuth limped. With the stack that Helmuth has, there's almost no chance that he's going to want to play a flop. It had to feel like a trap. Oh, and a big Tim flop Jack as Phil flops a straight. How much you got there, Phil? A straight. Pair of 10s for Mike. Could come 10-8. Here's a turn. Neither player with a flush draw. Turns a queen of hearts. Or king. Uh, hearts. 94,000, I have. 94. Well, Helmuth can't lose the pot. Madison can chop with a king on Here's the end. Right. King. The river's a seven and of hearts, Phil and Phil up. has doubled up. Yeah, I got yeah, the bad news for Helmuth, however, is that the blinds careless, have just Mike. gone up to 10 and 20,000, which means that he's still hovering around that 10 big blind level. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Doesn't really give him any play. I got careless. Still going to need to be all in if he's playing a pot. Phil with a ways to go. Mike still with a roughly 7 to 1 chip advantage. And as Ali mentions, the blind's up to 10 and 20,000 here. King nine of diamonds for Mike. Looks like it's going to be enough for a raise to 50,000. 50, and that's strange, given Phil Helm you stack. Madison knows that he's not just going to call a 50,000. If he's going to play this pot, he's going to move all in. And with pocket threes, that's exactly right, what he does. Now you're stuck with king nine right, suited, and you can't imagine no, that your hand is a favorite against Helmuth's range. Seldom me. is that the case. And you got to stick another 138 in there. You're behind, Mike, but you're destined. Destiny. I am destined. Mike makes the Mattis call. Mattis O'Call. And this is essentially a coin flip. King nine of diamonds. <laughs> I got over. I got over. It could have been a lot worse Mike. for Mike. He's actually a favorite right now. I don't believe you're destined. Let's take a look. And the flop. Three right in the window. Oh, and King it's a big Mike. flop. Pair of kings for Mike, but a set of trays for Phil. Here's a turn. Mike is way behind now. It is the six of He's clubs. He's done Phil now. That finishes again. the hand. A six of clubs on the turn, and that and means that weak. Phil Helmuth has doubled up in back-to-back -back hands. And this is where Mike the Mouth needs to stay composed. It's no longer just all ins and calls. He's going to have to play some more poker. Well, the first double up may have been easy to shrug off. The second one left the Mouth second-guessing himself. One more double up. And this match is back to even. Phil Helmuth working his short stack as only Phil Helmuth can. From six big blinds to back in contention here in match one of this best of three championship. Seeing your hand, I don't blame you. I mean, you knew, you knew I had you, though. What's that? With yeah. the king nine. Of course you had me. Yeah. But I thought, I just, I was just hoping I wasn't, like, in horrible shape. Yeah. 10-9 for Mike. He calls. To be fair, Mike the Mouth is a guy who considers himself the short stack specialist. Mike limps on the button. Phil raises. Phil with King Queen raises to 50,000. Mike makes the call. And Mike calls. Here's the flop. Flop queen is six Queen five. Six Five, a pair of Queens for Phil. 40. He'll bet 40,000. Again, with a less than half the pot-sized bet on the flop. To Too rich for 10-9 offsuit on that board. Phil takes another pot. So the pendulum has swung into Phil's corner. How will Mike react? We see a lot of fragile emotion in Mike when he is at the felt. Does he have the resolve? Does he have the tenacity? Can he bounce back, get the momentum, into his corner again. Ace King for Helmuth. Gonna be difficult for Mike to recapture the momentum if Helmuth is gonna pick up hands like this. And you know, in these matches for the mouth, it's almost like he's got two opponents. Helmuth and himself. Mike calls. And the flop. And both players make a pair, king 10 six. This is where you see players lose a lot of chips. You flop middle pair, your opponent's got top pair. It's just tough to get away. 
46,000. Mike is checked. Phil bets 46,000. Right. Madison puts in a raise to 150, right. but Helmuth moves all in quickly. All in. And Madiso folds. Maybe I got a little too excited there. Hamilton didn't just move in quickly. He moved in demonstratively. Bill jumped all in? I think we can file that under tell. I like the descriptive term, jumped all in. Phil has had a lot of success in the poker world, of course, but despite all that success, he remains as driven as ever, trying to solidify his status as one of the game's greats. I've been blessed with a, you know, pretty good career. 13 World Series of Poker bracelets, an NBC Heads Up Championship, five Hall of Fame bracelets, 40 or 50 tournaments. And I think I could have won more. You would think someone with everything I've accomplished would be happy with what they've accomplished. But you're not, because you have one bad tournament and that's all you think about. You don't think about all the stuff you've done or, or you'll become an egomaniac and no one will ever talk to you. You just, you're always driven to try to play the best you can the next day, the next moment, the next event. You think that fox shawl is still somewhere in Helmy's closet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Could we have found more unflattering pictures, by the way? <laughs> I don't think so. You limped in with an ace, I checked behind you with King Queen. How do you like that? <laughs> we didn't do much of that against the kids, did we? Mm -hmm. Ace seven for Phil. 45,000. Puts in a raise to 45,000. Nines for Mike. And Helmuth has opened up. He's breathing easy once more in this match. 105. Wow, you're running me Madison over. raises to 105,000. It's going to be real Phil soon. folds yeah. face up. Every time I've raised, I'd had an ace. And every time you re-raise me, like I had nothing. You can't read me. So I, I guess I can't raise my ace Dang it all. Can't play too good. Give you 150,000 on the King 10 6 board. Dang it all. I mean, I waited every time he still re raised me. All right, I'll just start raising weak every button then. Or I'll pick him off. Nice comeback, Phil. It's my own fault. I got stupid. Never should have done that with the 10 8. I mean, I'm not far behind, but still, it's a mistake. By folding that A7 face up in the last pot, Phil is going to tempt Mike into three betting more liberally moving forward in the match. Mattiso with Queen 8 raises to 40,000. King Jack for Phil. And he oh. calls. Helmuth clawing his way Check. back in this one. Check. The flop is 5 6 Trey. Check. Check, check to the turn. Seven of clubs, straight draw for both. Mike with the higher draw. 52,000. Phil bets 52,000. Well, we haven't seen this side of Helmuth in this match. He's got enough chips to play with. He knows that he's got good table image and momentum in his corner, and he's taking a shot. Call. Mike calls. And Phil did not want to see that. The river pairs check. trays on the board. Phil checks. And did so quickly. Now, oftentimes, Phil does that when he's ready to call down. 55,000. But that doesn't 55, seem to be stopping Mike from trying to bluff this pot on the river. And it's such a small bet, it feels like it wants a call. Phil folds. Yeah, that time you let me bluff you. And Mike shows him. <laughs> Almost called you. That time you let me bluff you, Philly boy. Almost called you. The Let's problem see. is I couldn't beat AC. I tried to bluff you one time, and I'm one for one. That's good. That's good odds. When you're one for one, that's good. Good play, my man. Good play. Well, that pot seems to have turned off Mike's mute button. <laughs> God, he didn't make that call. I wasn't quite sure, you know. Thank you for showing me. I have to show you. I, I, I only bluff you once in a while. I got to show it to you. No, I need that. I need that. I'm going to need that information to beat you in this match. Yeah? Nothing's going to help you, Phil. Jack, five for Phil, he calls. Well, we'll see, Mike. <laughs> so far, you cracked queens and gave me your chips twice for no reason. Why did I give you my chips? Mike checked his option Check. and flops 15, the nut flush 20, draw. Middle pair for oh, Phil. I don't have a spade. I got a pair. I got a spade. I got a straight draw. Hell, I got everything. I got a call. Oh. Might not be any good, though. Phil bet 20,000. Mike calls. Turns a six of hearts. Check. 50. 50 Quick check for Mike. Phil bets 50,000. 
And that's not the easiest board to bet on the turn. With Jack-5, given that call. you've been called on the flop, heavily textured. And Mattiso pairs his ace on the river. Jack's aces. They knuckle down, and Mattiso takes down ah. the pot. Phil's out of his chair. Easy game. <coughs> I might not have called them all under out every time. It's so sick. Hey, what do you want me to do? I had the nut flush draw and a pair draw on the flop. You want me to just fold that? How about on the turn, Mike? I had a pair of aces draw and a nut flush draw, Phil. You know how hard that is to get? <laughs> we've heard a lot about the new Phil, but everything we've seen in the last 10 minutes suggests the old Phil is alive and well. Well, alive at least. Caesars Palace currently features one of the most unique and eccentric spectacles on this trip. Welcome to The critically acclaimed variety show features wild and outlandish acts and a theater in the round presentation. Nothing is off limits. Feats of strength, balance, danger, and flexibility are performed just a few feet from the audience. Stay at Caesars, be entertained at Caesars. There isn't a Vegas show quite like Absent. Come on, come on. We return to the Caesars Palace Las Vegas easy. poker room. I'm going to limp in with King Queen and you're going to ship with the King. I won't do that again. I even know, <laughs> I know you do that, but I can't believe I fell for it. So stupid. Lines up to 15 and 30,000 here, and Mike Mattiso's one time 15 to 1 chip advantage is now a 3 to 1 advantage. But with the big jump in the blinds, Helmuth has 379,000, and it's Hello, still boy. just shy of 13 big blinds. Suited 9-7 for Mike, oh. he calls. It's a tricky stack size for Phil. Doesn't have a tremendous oh, amount of leeway take to take flop. flops and maneuver, but it's a little check. bit more than he may want to be check shipping pre-flop with. Check. Phil flops top pair, both players check. Deuce of clubs on Turns the turn. a deuce of clubs. 30. Phil bets 30,000. 30. And Mike folds. I have this, but yeah, I have a king. Mm -hmm. What, but you're going to tell me what you have sometimes? I mean, yeah, I would have told you. That's why I said what you have. 9 10. I'm surprised you folded that. I, I Although did, I had aces. So I, did, I, did, I, did, I did, like, limp or raise, like, a lot in a row. And, I don't so know, what? Just, didn't feel comfortable. You might as well play every hand, right? Six you might as well. Suited nine tray for Phil. He raises. All in. Deuces for Mike, and he puts Phil all in. This is unbelievable. No, it's nine tray suited. Okay. All right, I know what's coming, I guess. And Phil folds. I had it. I had the ducks. The ducks, Phil. I had the ducks. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Or just Huey and Dewey. <laughs> oh, Re-raised me four times now. When is it my turn? I'm supposed to pick that off. I try to starve the short stack. You want to feed it. Not really. Scott Seaver, he, well, that's why I got, that's why I won. Suited ace jack for Mike here. He raises to 60,000. Phil also with an ace. Ace Trey. All in. And he moves all, all in. Quick call from Mike. And, and Phil Helmuth is in danger of going down 1-0 in this match. Up and go to the next one. Ace Jack of Diamonds for Mike Matisau. That's the fifth ace time I had an ace and he had a higher ace. Fifth time. Oh. Happens. Oh. I might hit one of these one time, though. I might. Then again, you might not. Mike ahead in the hand and the, the good match. news is there's another match left if you don't. <laughs> there's another match left if he doesn't. I'm ready to go straight to it, too. We don't need any time. And the wins. flop. Three. Ten tray, tray. Trips for Phil. Wow, but two diamonds on the board give Madison the nut flush draw. Here's the turn. Yeah, the turns a ten of clubs, off. pairs tens on the board, and gives Phil a full house. <laughs> and that's the kind of card he wanted to see. He knows he can no longer lose this pot. Here, Here's the river. Madison can chop with a ten on the end, though. Instead, it's a six of spades, up. and Phil Helmuth is doubled up. Yeah. 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 Ye
That face says it all. It's gut check time for Mikey. Very bad beat. Can he shake it off? The Brat refuses to go away in match one of this best of three championship. The 2013 National Heads Up Poker Championship ring, courtesy of JohnParadisoJewelry.com. Back inside the poker room, Phil Helmuth fresh off another double up and back Nobody's in the hunt. Nobody's me running me over yet. I'll tell you that much. Phil, you're driving me up the wall. I ain't running you over. I'm just, run, I'm just running Why better than you. Why you punch me earlier? I, mean, I, I, just, <laughs> you know, I was trying to get the boxing gloves out, buddy. I know. I mean, I know. I don't mind you playing, but I mean... I didn't mean that. I know that. Five tray for Phil. 65. And he puts 65. in a raise to 65,000. Jacks for Mike. 65,000 on the button? All in. all in. And he puts I Phil all in. in. That'll draw the curtain on this pot. Here comes the Hollywood. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I can fold this. He's trying to give me the match. <laughs> You've re-raised me six times already. We've only played, how many hands have we played? Phil feigning interest. It's crazy. Wow. To be fair, Matt, this is part of the game. You don't want to snap fold right there and make your opponent think BS that you're game. raising light on the button with any two. He always thinks I re-raise him with nothing. It's insane, it doesn't make sense. Should have re-raised you a hundred more. I wanted you to call. Grinder, your boys, your boys re-raised me six times, and I folded 80% of the buttons. Is that possible? He claims he had it every time, which I actually believe. But I mean, come on, <laughs> come on. This is the older generation. We don't have it all the time. And <laughs> hey, this is the old generation. We always have it. Three bet means something. Hey, we're the older generation. Well, these three amigos poking a little fun at the internet, young guns who certainly play a broader range of hands. Ace queen for Mike. 60,000. He puts in 60, a raise 000. to 60,000. All in. Call. Fives all for in. Philly goes all in. Got a pair? And a quick call nope. from Mike. <laughs> Hard 10 against Blackjack. Hey, we're all in. So you called with Ace Queen. Two wow. fives for Philly. Wait, wait, let me fold Ace Queen at it. I'm not racing really, really with Ace Jack all in, I'll tell Hell you. Helmuth, the Mike favorite, Madison. heading to the flop. I am surprised he snap called, though, with Ace. Still have two other matches left to go. He's looking to double up into the chip lead here. And the flop. Big turning point in this match. Flop is yeah. King Ace. Six. Ace, six. a pair of aces Very for Madison. Two to Madison. come. And Mike is close to going up 1-0 oh, in this match. All he needs to do have is, have do it? is dodge fives. <laughs> oh, it's the landing pad move. Here's oh, a turn. Two shots. This is the it. Phil Lock. We got it. Oh, no. We got it. Oh, my God. It's my turn. Eight of spades. Eight of spades oh, on the turn. Put him right here. There you go, bro. Exactly two outs for Phil Helmuth. If Mike Matiso can fade the two fives, he takes a 1-0 lead in this best of three championship. Here's a river. Boomba! And Mike Matiso wins the first match. One down, one to go. Woo! Yeah! That's why it's going to be tough for you to beat me, baby. Because I re-raise you one time the what do you whole, want me to twice do? the whole tournament. You have ten big blinds. That's a full day's queen. Are you? Think what you're saying, Phil. If 600 I did only have 22 big blinds. Of course. You're, you're not thinking. You're I'm not thinking. thinking. I'm we'll fold see. For we'll see. We'll see when I have I ace king and you snap the ace queen for 20 big blinds playing. I know. I know. In my whole life, I That's won't, why. and I never will. That's going to cost you in the next match. Say hi, Mike. Beautiful money. <laughs> I'm smart. You're dumb. What'd you say, Mike? Dumb, dumb, dumb. You're trying to tilt me. <laughs> Real classy, Mike. Pain. I'm having fun. You can't overcome destiny. I don't believe you're destined. Ha! It's going to be tough for you to be anybody. Think what you're saying, Phil. One down, one to go. Who will be 2013 National Heads Up Poker Champ? The conclusion of our tournament is next. My match against Annette was... I just made a really bad move there. I call. Wow. Phil follows his heart, but he should have listened to his brain. I'm all in. 
my call. My match against Durr, I played perfect, but it lasted three hands. I put all my money in with aces. He had tens and hit a ten. Here's the tennis team. And I was a little bit pissed off. We'll see if you're even around in five years. God. The Ferguson stuff is epic. That was a 21 to 1 favorite to win the NBC Heads Up Championship. A nine! Instead, I turn left and fall down, and there I am, just on my hands and my knees going like this. Great drama. I came back and won it anyway. I'm a little poker bratty sometimes. I think I can control myself for the rest of the NBC Heads Up Championship. 